going to start with the jig. So it's called the Whitewater Jig. Now, I think this might actually be an American jig because it was recorded by a guy named Tommy Jackson, who was a kind of a Nashville style fiddler from, uh, uh, from the States, and he recorded a lot of fiddle LPs in the 50s. But it's also been played by a lot of Canadian players as well. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to play the tune for you and you just listen. And then I'll teach it phrase by phrase, okay? okay. It's in A and D. A and D, yeah. Okay, here we go. Just listen. No playing along. This is the listening part. You know, uh, it's there's uh, it's not the rhythm isn't even. If you if you notice when, I, when you play a jig, the rhythm is is uh, somewhat dotted. There's some little things going on, and you can play with making a note longer and shorter to make it swing a little bit. You know, it's not just da 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 da. It's da 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 da. da you know, that's got this. You have to put some feel into it. But we'll do that after we learn all the notes. So. First thing we're going to do is this tune's in A and D. So the first thing we're going to do, and the nice thing is in the A part, the first part of the tune that's in A, uh, it's only on the A and E string. There's no notes on the D and G. So if everyone just take out wire cutters now and cut the D and G string off their foot. <laughs> so so let's let's play first. Uh, we're going to play just an A scale. Okay, we're going to play from here all the way up to here. That B with the with the uh, pinky on the E string, okay? Now, is everybody okay with me calling out names of notes? Okay, because sometimes I can say what finger it is on what string, but I'll just call out notes. So we're gonna play from this A up to this B. And I'm gonna tap my foot, and we're gonna go one, da, 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 here we go. some arpeggios so now arpeggios are when you take the notes up ah, we got some so, so now we're gonna play the a arpeggio so when you think about arpeggios that's that da 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 thing if you haven't and I'm not a music st I didn't never take any I didn't never take any lessons that sounds like a hillbilly but I didn't never take any lessons <laughs> so so uh, the arpeggio notes if you count up if you want to make an arpeggio in any scale you play the first the third and the fifth note of the scale and that makes the arpeggio that also makes the chord you know so so we're going to play the a we're going to play a e a c sharp e a okay so here we go let's play a now c sharp These are really great to practice. I practice these all the time uh, at different tempos and different keys because so many of the fiddle tunes have arpeggios in them. You know, like sometimes that's just mostly arpeggios with little scale passages connecting arpeggios together. So, so let's play that again. Just about like there you go. Okay. Then I'm going to do one more thing. 
I'm going to introduce you to, if you haven't heard it called this anyway, it's what I call the Fiddler's Scale. And it's where you go up one, up two, back one, up two, back one. Listen one time. It sounds like this. Listen. And what's happening there is, well, the reason I practice that is there's so many tunes that have a little bit that go... You know, that little... That little lick is in zillions of fiddle tunes. Maybe it only lasts for four notes, but that little part. So I like to play this fiddler's scale too, and I do it in all keys. When I'm when I'm messing around, like getting ready to play a tune in some key, I'll play all those notes. So listen. So what we're gonna do is you go listen one time. You go A C sharp B D C sharp E. Listen one time. Me now. D now. C sharp to E. That's it. B now. A. And now if you go down, you go A to A to F sharp. So G sharp to open E. F sharp D E C sharp D B G sharp Okay But that's really you know get those to where you can go Cuz then you'll find that useful because I like to play scales and arpeggios. I don't sit around like practicing them till I puke. But um, it, it's yeah, it's like it's. I call it ground you've already plowed. You know, when you hear that, oh, I I can play that lick. It's on. It's part of that other thing I've been practicing. You know, so it's just useful.